Inside the new Houdini, you can find also the, another way for create a fracturing element. It's uh, the RBD material fracture. Material fracture, it's uh, the new way for create, for example, the wood, the concrete and the glass. It's very nice because it's one way very fast for use, for example, and for create by material the glass, the wood and the concrete. It's uh, very nice to also use that because um, it's, uh, you can just connect it and you can create before maybe you, you need to work around for create that effects. For example, for create the wood tube, the cylinder. You can end cap, you can say it's polygon, you can assign more, for example, yeah, and we can change the radius of the 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the heights, for example, it's uh, 5, 3, okay. And this is my, my trunk, for example, it's my trunk, maybe you need also to update the noise, but don't worry now that. And usually when you create an old style, you want to create the wood, wood fracturing, you need to take your geometry and you can scale, for example, down from, uh, in this case, for Y, from 0 0.1. I create the ISO offset. I assign the value for ISO offset. I assign the scatter point. One thousand is very more. I can say fifty. And Voronoi fracture points. And Voronoi, and I assign the Voronoi here. And you have that. Then, because I need to come back to the original dimension so I can take this because it's uh, if I have one uh, ten okay you see yeah I create my geometry my my wood element yeah in fact if you go to explode view You see here the effects, it's very similar to your geometry like uh, the wood, okay? This is one way for create the wood. Here, you can just take your elements and say, hey, you are wood. You can see here, now it's concrete, wood. And you see now it's create for you the wood effects. It's more different. Okay, you just uh, go here and you need to uh, setting it with, uh, for example, the, the cut, uh, the details, uh, the cluster, you can work in around this and you can show, for example, uh, the fracture geometry, you can show me the fracture geometry, you can show me the grains, it's like the plane, you see it's uh, divided uh, by the planes, it's like this, the, the boolean situation, boolean, it's uh, more similar to the boolean. And you can also see, hey, show my splitter. You can see here. And you can, for example, the grain here, you have the, the cut, the splitter, we can see. Also, it's create for you the, uh, the constraints. It's apply constraint if you want. And splitter here, you can say it's, uh, if I say 10, like the density, we can see what's happened. It's not more density. And also you can uh, say two, it's more length. You need to work around this uh, this voice here for create your elements. And it's not like before, it's very fast to use that 
for create your situation. So this is a new tool so you can find inside the Houdini for creating your elements or if you want you can use the old way you can also I want to show you also the old way maybe sometimes the old way it's better for creating some effects in some situation maybe it's better use uh, with some little adjustment uh, use the new version of Houdini tools also the new tools you can find in the rigid body you can find also in the tab the proxy we can use the proxy with the like the sphere proxy and the convex proxy this is very comfortable when you're working uh, you don't need to create the proxy here it's the same uh, in the past and also you can see here you have the constraint RBD constraint properties we can see what's it's the glue it's the soft the soft constraint is very nice also for to use the the soft maybe we can see the example for using that I really I I I mind in the next lesson I want to take a pizza tower and start to destroy it and for create the simulation for create uh, it, it's very nice to see that.